Looks pretty frosty, I'll have to thaw it with the weed burner. We just showed up in the Pascac. We wanted to get the ball rolling fast, get the job done, and we'd show up to two inches of ice on all the equipment. Cougar, you got a torch? Well, a lot of the equipment that gets out here in the bush is barged in in the summer, so it's been sitting for at least four or five months. Important to have out here is some type of a heating source. The weed burner's pretty fast. You can pick it up, weighs 10 pounds. Light the torch, and you got instant 1,000 degree heat. Talk to it, Kruger. Whoa! There you go. Hey, is the radio working this one? Well, I think it's going to take about an hour for this to thaw out, so let's go look at our material. On remote jobs like this, the equipment is typically shipped months in advance when waterways are still accessible. Every bush job, the first thing you do is check your material, make sure everything made it. OK. Someone, along some time, throws a bunch of material on a Connex, puts it on a barge, and it's months before it gets out to the village. What do we need, some travelers? Problems arise when the containers are packed incorrectly, leaving crews without all the equipment they need. Are you kidding me? There's nothing else in any of these crates. Today, whiskey is facing just that problem. It's hilarious. There's like nothing in here. <laughs> we didn't have the right stuff. It was wrong. It's a common occurrence in the village. It's annoying. It kind of slows the job down. I just wanted to get there, get back, and get the job done. Let's us two go, us three go look at uh, the job. Crew, you stay here, get the truck all defrosted. Probably have to hit the mirrors of the torch because they're not going to thaw themselves. Unless replacement parts can be found in town, this job is on hold. 